Hello, I'm meteorologist Bruce Jones with Midland Radio Corporation, and I'm here to help you set up your Midland WR 120 emergency alert radio. These radios are given out thanks to a grant from South SC Edison. Sorry. Take two. In three, two. Hello, I'm meteorologist Bruce Jones with Midland Radio Corporation here to help you set up your WR120 emergency alert radio. These radios are courtesy of a grant from SC Edison, the Topanga Coalition for Emergency Preparedness, and we want to thank our friends from the Canyon Sages. So let's get into how to program your radio. Now, uh, just some background on this gizmo. It works a lot like a smoke detector. By that, I mean it's always silently on but it only makes noise when there's an alert. So if the National Weather Service or LA County wants you to know about something, they'll set off an alert tone. You keep it plugged in all the time. The wall plug is your number one source of power. But in order to get this public alert certification, this also has to have backup battery power. And the batteries will run it for about three days. So if your electricity goes out completely for three days, this will continue to run. It has audible and visible warnings for the deaf and hard of hearing and an 80 decibel alert tone, which is loud enough to really wake you up in the event of a true emergency. So we're gonna set this to go off only for warnings for Los Angeles County, because you don't want Santa Barbara, Ventura, just LA County. Um, we're gonna do four things on here. We're gonna set the language, that is tell the radio what language to display here in the display window. Set the location, which will be Los Angeles County. We'll set the time, there's a clock on here. And then we're gonna set the channel. And for the channel that this radio listens to, there are two choices. There's one channel that's broadcast uh, for Los Angeles County. This is coming from uh, the mountain outside of Pasadena, uh, up near Tahunga, and it's 162.550 megahertz. The area in green is where the signal coverage uh, comes through. And then there's another transmitter out on Catalina Island at Avalon, and some of you, especially down near Malibu or near Topanga Canyon State Park, uh, you might want to listen to that one. So here's the signal coverage for 162.550. Here's Point Magoo, Malibu, Santa Monica, Calabasas, Thousand Oaks. So we're right in here. And you'll notice the signal coverage is pretty good for most of Topanga. There are a few little holes in the signal coverage, those clear spots. But most of uh, Topanga should get pretty good signal coverage off of the Los Angeles transmitter. And here's a close-up of it. But you'll notice there's a little hole out here by Topanga State Park. So there's Malibu, not too good coverage down at Malibu, but most of Topanga should be okay. But near the state park, you might want to listen to the Avalon transmitter. So here's the wide out view of Avalon. There's Calabasas, there's Topanga State Park. And when you come in closer, you'll notice that the coverage isn't that great around Topanga, but it's better down here near the state park, better at Pacific Palisades, better down near the Malibu coast. So you might want to listen to the Avalon transmitter. You can figure that out just basically how you go through setting this up. So again, let's go through the programming process. Uh, put your batteries in the radio, three AA batteries in the radio, and then it will say set language. We're going to be using the menu and the select buttons. When it says set language, hit select. Your choices are English, I'll arrow up, Spanish, French. Of course, most of us want it in English, so when it says English, hit the select button. Now the radio says set location. Let's hit the select button. Do you want it to go off for any county? No. Do you want it to go off for multiple counties? No. Arrow up until it says single. And once it says single, press the select button. It'll tell you that slot number one is empty, which is good news because we're gonna fill slot number one with Los Angeles County. Press the select button. And now we have two choices here. Using the up down arrows, we have USA or Canada. We're obviously picking USA, press select. We're gonna come down through a list of the states and territories of the United States. There's American Samoa, Arizona, there's California. Press select. And now you have an alphabetical listing of all the counties in California. Push and hold the down arrow, and we'll go all the way down through until we get to Los Angeles County, and then press the select button. I've now told the radio to only go off for Los Angeles County. Next, set time. Press the select button. You can adjust the hours by using the up-down arrows. If you want to get to your AM or PM numbers, just go past the number 12. When you've set your hours, move over to the right one digit 
and set the tens digit of the minutes. When you've got that set, move over one more and set your minutes. When you've got your time set, press the select button. Now the radio asks you to set the channel, and again, this is where you'll have to decide between the Los Angeles transmitter or the Avalon transmitter. So if you just arrow up or down through the different frequencies, you're going to find one that's clearer than the other. I'm in Kansas City, and my clearest one actually happens to be this Los Angeles frequency. Once you get the clearest frequency on your radio, press the select button. And at that point, you're done with the setup. So that's the basic setup. Again, you're going to set the language, English, to display up here. You're going to set the location, Los Angeles County. You're going to set the time, that's the clock. And then set the channel either to the Los Angeles transmitter or to the Avalon transmitter, whichever gives the clearest signal. And you may have to extend your antenna too because some of you may be on the fringe of the signal. Now there's one other thing that you can, you can do with the radio. You can actually silence some of the alerts. The instructions are here at the bottom of page 7 on the manual. Again, you're going to go into the menu, you're going to set events, and then get into the edit events menu. And then you could turn off things like amber alerts or special marine warnings if you so wish to do. If you'd like to contact us, uh, Midland Radio Customer Service, our telephone number is 816-241-8500. There's sometimes a wait when you call in on that line, so you can also send us an email, support at midlandradio.com, or you can write me an old-fashioned letter at Midland Radio 5900 Paretta Drive, P-A-R-R-E-T-T-A, -T -T -A, Paretta Drive in Kansas City, and our zip code is 64120. I do answer snail mail letters as well. So this is your weather radio. It's courtesy of Topanga Coalition for Emergency Preparedness. These are great life-saving devices. They act much like a smoke detector. The switch on the side is always left on. The radio is always plugged into the wall. The antenna is up. The radio monitors the broadcast. If the National Weather Service or LA County needs to alert you, they will automatically. Thanks for watching and thanks for helping us build a weather-ready nation.